guys, this is Greg Doyle for Eat Sleep Boxing Repeat. Prediction time. Fight I want to talk to you guys about takes place Saturday the 29th of May. It is for the WBC World Lightweight title and it is between the champion, Devin Haney, who is 25 and 0, and he takes on Jorge Linares, who is 47 and 5. Hi guys, thank you so much for coming back and tuning in to another prediction video. Uh, as you know, in these videos, I will give you a background into both guys' most recent fights. I will give you my keys to victory. And finally, I will give you my prediction. So, let's start off with the champion, Devin Haney. Devin Haney is 25-0. He's one of the biggest prospects in world boxing at the moment. Um, he's coming off of that 12-round win, uh, almost a shutout win over... Uh, Yuri Orkis Gamboa, who once upon a time as an amateur and probably as a featherweight was ridiculously talented, very, very good fighter, probably no business at lightweight. Um, watched a few of Devin Haney's most recent fights. I watched a fight with Santiago. I watched a fight with Antonio Moran. Um, fantastic knockout in that fight of Antonio Moran. And you know, I think that was one of the fights that really helped Devin Haney arrive onto the world scene because a lot of us were blown away with that win. But he takes on Jorge Linares. Jorge Linares, I say, is 47-5. and five. Jorge Linares is one of my favourite fighters of all time. Um, one of the most crisp, accurate punchers I, I can remember seeing. His combination shots are phenomenal. But he is starting to get on a little bit now, uh, Jorge Linares. But he's coming off a few routine wins against... Um, not really well known opponents. He's coming off of the one round stoppage loss, which was a really strange one to Pablo Cesar Cano. Um, but he's got some really great victories over guys in this country like Anthony Crawler, Luke Campbell, Kevin Mitchell. You know, he's he put up a fantastic fight against um, Vasily Lomachenko, also where he was stopped in the 10th round, where he was really alive in that fight. And it was probably the first time that we've seen. Lomachenko be made to look a little bit silly at times. He also put Lomachenko down in the fight. So credit where it's due to, to Jorge Linares. I just think he's a, a wonderful, wonderful fighter. Um, but guys, if we can move over to my keys to victory. For Devin Haney, I think Devin Haney needs to use his speed and movement in this fight. I think if he can throw a nice crisp jab get on the bike, uh, when he comes in with the jab, attack Linares to the body, but get back out of range, go for a run around the ring, let Linares chase him. I think that he stands a great chance at outpointing Linares relatively wide in this fight, but I believe that's something that he's he's got to do. Keys to victory for Jorge Linares. I think he needs to stick with his combination shots because if Denny, uh, Devin Haney blocks one or two, it might not block the third or fourth. I think he needs a fast start in the fight. I think he needs to take the fight to Haney. One thing in Linares' um, favour, I don't think Devin Haney is a huge puncher. Yeah, he's got one or two really good knockout wins, but I don't know. I just think some of the guys that he's beat recently he needs to be stepping it up and stopping these guys, and he's not, and he's beating them wide. And at the end of the day, boxing's about getting hit and not being hit your, yourself. Sorry, boxing is about... Hitting your opponent and not getting hit back. So I suppose he does that really well. And if that's what work, what's works for him, then that's fair. But I just believe that it will be um, it will be a positive for Jorge Linares that Devin Haney isn't a huge puncher. But guys, over and on to prediction time. If you ask me about this fight, Say Devin Haney is where he is now in the Jorge Linares of six or seven years ago. I reckon I would have picked Jorge Linares to win the fight. But I just think that timing is everything in boxing. And I think that this fight has came at the right time for Devin Haney and the wrong time for Jorge Linares. I think that Devin Haney may just be a little bit too sharp. Um, a bit too quick. Too good on his feet. But I do class Linares as being really alive in this fight and far and away, this is the best opponent that Haney has fought. But I just feel that the timing is all right for one fighter and all wrong for another. 
So guys, my prediction for Saturday the 29th of May, the WBC World Lightweight title is for Devin Haney to beat Jorge Linares. Greg Doyle, Eat Sleep Boxing Repeat. Thank you so much for tuning in as always, guys. Um, subscribe down below the video if you can. I'll be back to speak to you guys again soon. Thank you.